So, okay, we were discussing about the material and the amount of brightness of this uh, diffuse material. I'm using the compact material editor here, and my material diffuse color is 200 for the for this color applied to all the objects. Now, before proceeding further, I want to show you that the last render I obtained is quite uh, strong in contrast, because you can notice that the light is arriving, is um, hitting the various surfaces and um, um, lighting them, while uh, the surfaces not being hit by the light, they are totally black. This doesn't happen in reality, because Every time we emit a light, the light is bouncing over the various surfaces. This is why I'm not using a pure white color for the diffuse uh, uh, amount of this great object. And uh, is uh, the reason that is uh, moving me here inside the V-Ray settings, where now I will apply some very cheap settings. Uh, so something that gives uh, a natural result, but very uh, draft um, quality amount. So the first step I want to change is this one, GI. GI is uh, global illumination and is affecting how the light is bouncing inside my room. Uh, now I will activate it and change here the two parameters with uh, some settings that generally I'm using. And I will cover this topic later. But I want you just know that I'm using irradiance map and light cache as a combo. I change the value of this light cache with a number that I'm mm, comfortable in because it's very rough. And I change here the irradiance map with a preset I use very low because I want to be sure that the quality will be low but the time of the render as well will be reduced. Also I change this subdivision that by default you can find 50, I prefer to use 20 at the beginning. And uh, that's it for these two settings. I also change uh, this um, basic mode to advanced mode in um, V-Ray 3, you can find this new button, and I activate the ambient occlusion, I change here the radius to 25 centimeter. So in the global illumination you need to have irradiance map, light cache, and ambient occlusion activated with 25 as dimension. If you notice that with the default settings uh, your render is very slow, you can apply 200 in this subdivision of light cache and irradiance map very low and 20 subdivision. Also I open the settings tab, this, um, I change here the basic to advanced and I remove this uh, show message log that every time is popping up and is distracting me from my scene. In the settings of V-Ray here, the core settings, I have uh, image sampler the anti-aliasing that is affecting the various border and also this will be covered in uh, later lectures on this uh, video course. I change adaptive to fixed to be sure that I have a very rough settings. So the previous render was 24 seconds and it gave me this result. Now I try to render again and let's see what happens. As you notice, the scene is very bright now. I have this uh, uh, very strong amount of light emitted. Actually, I didn't change the amount of light emitted, the intensity of this light, the multiplier that I was changing before, but I changed how the light is behaving inside my room, as well as the color, the diffuse color of my object. And as you can notice, everything is uh, washed out because this light intensity is too much. If I reduce the light intensity of this uh, emitter, I can have something more, more real. So these are the basic steps that I suggest you to do every time you work. Let me uh, uh, do a very fast summary. I created a light and the light has a certain uh, parameter and I want to be sure that the light is white and has a certain position. Then I activated V-Ray here in the common, in the assign render, and I changed the global illumination, so I have the bounce of the light. And with the material editor, I created a default material 
that is a V-Ray MTL, and I applied this very bright but not white color to the diffuse value. After doing so, I created my render and I obtain a balanced result, also quite clean, as, um, as you can still notice that my resolution is very low, so with the mouse wheel I can zoom in in this V-Ray frame buffer and I can see in detail what is happening. Now I'm not so much focused on the quality of my image and I will be mostly focused on the quality of the light as well as the light position in my environment.